ECG in Epstein's anomaly of tricuspid valve showing right axis deviation of QRS, notched R waves in 2, 3 and AVF and V1 suggesting fragmented QRS. Peak P waves indicate a right atrial abnormality though the typical voltage criteria for right atrial enlargement of more than 0.25 mV is not satisfied. Fragmented QRS occurs in Epstein's anomaly due to abnormal conduction in the atrialized right ventricle. A portion of the right ventricle is atrialized because of distal displacement of the septal and posterior leaflets of tricuspid valve. They are also prone for atrial arrhythmias due to dilated right atrium. There is a risk of stroke because of potential paradoxical embolism due to intermittent right to left shunting across a patent foramen oval. Earlier, the descriptions for the QRS abnormality in Epstein's anomaly were splintered QRS, fractionated QRS, or second QRS. Intracardiac mapping has demonstrated late depolarization during this period. Fragmented QRS is associated with a higher arrhythmic risk and a larger atrialized right ventricular area. They also had more severe tricuspid regurgitation. The extent of fragmented QRS is measured by the number of leads showing the FQRS. QRS duration is longer in those with FQRS. Those with increased QRS duration have a higher mortality on long term follow up after corrective surgery. Wolf Parkinson White syndrome can be associated with Epstein's anomaly due to accessory atrioventricular bypass tracts. They can present with re entrant supraventricular tachycardia. First set of references on ECG in Epstein's anomaly of tricuspid valve. Second set of references on ECG in Epstein's anomaly of tricuspid valve. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share and post your valuable comment below this video.